What's up guys, Jeremy and Jamara from RC Militia and we are coming at you with somewhat of a, a different video. Uh, we're going to go through your videos and look at comments and answer them on camera. So, and before you guys ask, we're wearing the same shirt, babe. Why we're we wearing the same shirt? Because we love to match. That's not true. I hate to match. <laughs> no. We... There's only one occasion I will match. Yeah. And that's for the sport of? Football. What kind of football? Arena football. The best kind of football. I love the Seahawks. And my Seahawks shoes? I have Seahawks shoes. They say, uh, go Hawks. Okay, that's enough. Yeah, I got shock shoes, so I win. But he doesn't wear them. Okay. Smoke and shock have way better colors anyway. Okay. Okay. So, and we won 71 to, what, we went six, six, 76 to? 76 to 41. To 41, yes, so. Yeah. Go shock. All right. <laughs> All right, so, we picked uh, 10 different questions. And we might do more, might do less later on, you know. Okay. Uh, depends. All right. And we're going to do this once a month, and we don't know what we're going to call it. So you might see it in the video in the description above, or or you might uh, go ahead and comment down below and see what you think we should call it. What? That's a big fucking bug. What is that? Oh, oh no. Oh, whoa. Well, it's what? a cricket. No. Just sit down. Oh, my gosh. That is a bee. Holy shit balls! That's the biggest bee I've ever seen. Will you come sit down? Come here. Check out this bee. Holy cow. And he's a bumblebee. He needs to be outside. Okay, let's put him outside. It's too cold for him. But what? We're not putting this on video. Come here, Mr. Bumblebee. Come here. Come here. No, don't flip over upside down. Come here, buddy. Yeah, you need to put him up there. Come here. If you can't see him. Come here. Put him outside. Put him right on the deck. Put him on the deck over here. Over here. Over here. Over here. Okay. There's our good deed. We saved a bumblebee. Okay. Ooh. Okay, so uh, we're, we're now returning. Uh, Jamara noticed a probably an inch long bee and probably about uh, uh, half an inch, a quarter now, about a quarter inch wide. Yeah. He was massive. It, no, three quarters of an inch wide. He was huge. He was huge. I, I just see him yeah. going across the floor. And I don't have my glasses on, so I couldn't tell who it was. But he was a bumblebee. Okay, so let's get to the comments. We've done a lot of rambling. We here. saved a bumblebee. Okay. So first one we picked. All right. So the first one we picked was um, Dwight Duquette, and these are everybody's just whatever their name is, their username kind yeah. of thing. So Dwight Duquette says, "I wanted to say thank you for all the time and effort that you and your better half. I think I'm the better half. No, I'm the better half. Okay. Put into the w videos. I am new to the hobby and enjoy everything you guys do. One question: How do I get my girl interested in bashing? Take that one, baby." How do you get a girl interested in bashing? Well, um, okay, you do, you do have to take into consideration. Why are you out of breath? Because I just saved a bumblebee. It was okay, very go ahead. Anyway. Yeah. You have to take into consideration that, um, I'm, I'm, oh, has always liked guy stuff, like football and playing outside, and I grew up climbing trees and stuff, so RC cars isn't something that I wouldn't like. You know, so uh, some girls, they don't like to get dirty, they don't like to be out in the, you know, outside or whatever. And guys, so, those aren't the kinds of girls you want. Those aren't the girls Unless you're Unless you're a prissy boy, then you want that kind. Those aren't the girls you're going to see in the RC hobby. But <laughs> if you do have a girl that, you know, does like guy things, then just, you know, get Camping, her... Camping, stuff like that. Yeah, know. get her into it by, you know, starting to teach her some of this stuff. You know, that's what Jeremy and I work on. Just take on her out and have her drive one. Yeah, driving a car for a girl that likes But make sure it's a things. slow one so they don't break anything. Yeah. Um, if you, <laughs> girls, girls that like guy things, they're going to gravitate towards, you know, driving something fast or something that they feel is fast, even if it's technically a slow car, you know, and jumping it off of things and possibly breaking it. They're just going to gravitate towards that. So just give them a chance to drive. A lot of you guys hold so tightly to the RC remotes that you don't want to share and that is not good not you got to let them drive you know it maybe you drive too it's fun to, to get out there and drive together so just get them involved and some girls are going to say yes some girls are going to say no and then you choose whether you like them or not i'm just joking it could still be good you don't all have to like it but just let them participate and then ease them into it yeah something slow and then gradually move up there yes. you go all right so, you want to read the next one? No, you read them. I don't know how to pronounce this second name. That was an English story. I read enough papers and everything from my time, so read. Jo I'm going to butcher this last name. Joe Hyatt. 
we'll just we'll put the names down below because I'm gonna butcher them like crazy so they'll pop up below when we read the comments right. says I have to watch I have to say watching your videos is gonna make me miss my collection especially the e Revo I lost almost everything in the tornado on the 20th great videos and keep them coming all I have now is your videos to keep me in the hobby so. Okay, bro. So first off, I give you completely my condolences. I hope your whole family is okay. Yeah. I hope if you had any pets, uh, I hope they're they're all okay. And yeah. the RCs are replaceable. Yeah, it's gonna take time and money to get back into them. And you know, don't let it get you down. And if watching my videos helps, that's great. Yeah. And I it, it means a lot to me that that does help you. And you know, I mean. Things will get back to normal. Once a bad thing happens, you know, things can only go up from there. So just stay positive. Yeah. And if you need our support all or somebody to talk to, just private message us on uh, YouTube and yeah. be glad to have a conversation with you and try to make things easier if you're having a bad time or whatever. So, yeah. All right. Sorry. How do you how do you say, you know, what do you really say mm -hmm. to somebody that, that loses And our thoughts everything. and prayers and condolences go out to everybody yeah. in... Uh, Oklahoma. Yep. So. All right. So um, this one we didn't put a name to. We just grabbed this one because this one's all over pretty much everything. It says, how much did you pay for this or that or your car? Okay. So how much did I pay for the car that I'm doing in the review? Okay, people have to get, take into consideration that what's that thing that you do from Tower Hobbies where you can get like a certain amount off? I, I, I was going to explain that afterwards. Oh, okay. Okay, so first thing I do is I'm just like you guys. I have a computer, and if you can type to me on YouTube, how much is this, you could easily type in the name of the car and find that out on Google. Mm -hmm. And if I mention I got it for cheaper than what uh, list cost is like on Tower Hobbies, I pretty much buy all my RC cars from Tower Hobbies. Yeah. Pretty much everything. Yeah. Once in a while, Horizon Hobby. Like we bought or the Craigslist. List. I've never... But rare. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Pretty much everything comes from Tower Hobbies. And... Yeah. Uh, that and if I can get something from uh, Joe at Average Joe's, I go from him. I get uh, stuff from him. If it's cheaper, I go to him too. So, uh, with that being said, when I say I buy something from Tower Hobbies and I got it for less than what you guys are seeing, I am a Gold Preferred Plus member. Yeah. And to do that, I think you you have to also be subscribed to their newsletter, which is nine ninety nine a year, which is cheap, and you get a f free magazines every once in a while. So it's really a deal. And uh, you have to spend a certain amount of money, and then you become a Gold Preferred Plus member, and... Uh, you don't know how much money it is? What? How much you have to spend? In order no, I don't know how much you have to spend. Oh. But that's that's how you do it, and that's... Uh, so, yeah. Well, go ahead and look into that, you know, if you guys yeah. are finding that you're buying your cars from Tower Hobbies too, and you didn't know about this, go ahead and check it out, you know, and see if you guys qualify. And if you do, then by all means, I mean, you can get how much... I mean, what do you, would you normally get off, like a $500 car? I think the most I've got off it, off a $500 car, I think you can get 60 to $65 off, so. Hey, you know, right there, that's your subscription for the next six years, so, yeah, I mean, so in one car. So, look into that, see if you guys qualify. Yeah, and don't ask me how much I pay for it anymore. <laughs> You'll just keep writing back Google. Yeah, that's going to be my reply. Connor Fortier. Uh, Fortier. Fortier. Well, maybe he's French, you know? Sounds cool. Well, then there'll be a little thing. Okay, the well. E. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> well, then do you have any... Well. Yes, he said well. Uh, it was probably something. Hmm. Go ahead. Okay. Well, then do you have any recommendations for a electric RC cars ranging from 300 to $400? Okay, so if you can swing an extra $50, hands down, I would say the team associated RC8.2E. If you can't oh, yeah. swing, because we got ours for four fifty, I did get fifty dollars off from Tower Hobbies, um, and that wasn't being gold per, for, for gold preferred. Why can't I get that out? My voice hurts anyway from the shot game. <laughs> gold preferred plus member, I got fifty dollars off of that. So if if you can somehow swing that, um, definitely go for the RC eight point two E. I mean, it's hard to recommend a car, and there's so many cars out there in the price range. I'm just thinking about the ones I have. Yeah. So and then the next one I would go with is the. Tracks the Summit 4x4 VXL. That thing's a freaking blast. I and mean, I can't think of anything else. How much is the Summit? How much did you pay for the Summit? I didn't say the Summit. I should this, Did I say the Summit? You did. I meant the Tracks of Stampede. No, I said Stampede 4x4 VXL. We're going to play this back and you're going to see you're wrong. Oh, okay. I'm going to be right. And if I'm right, I'm getting something. 
Okay, so those are the two cars I would go with. The so Stampede? Yeah, the Stampede, and uh, but if you can swing it, definitely the RC 8.2E uh, by Team Associated, the RTR version of it. So you get radio and everything and all that kind of stuff. I don't right. think you get a battery with it, but... Hmm. All right, that's so always there, an issue, there's so. your answer. Yep, there you go. All right, so then we come to Crisis Pointman for the Trophy Truggy Flux video. It says, is the Truggy even worth buying? Because I really want to pick this thing up but all the negative hype is pulling me off. Save your money. Don't get it. Get a. Uh, no. Is it? It always freaking breaks. I mean, I. Yes. I just. I. I. Don't. Don't. Don't do it. That's like. It's fun when it's working. I could recommend a Trophy Truggy Flux as easily as I could recommend a Traxxas Mini E Revo. Then it's just. It's just break after break after break. Yeah. After break. Yeah, and I don't think it's just your driving. I mean, you are a basher at heart, and you're going to drive your cars regardless that way. Right. But I'm pretty sure it's just something the way that And part support sucks. So, no, do not buy it. Uh, if you do want a truggy, save up money. I don't know, I think it probably costs you around $800 or something like that with the electronics and stuff. Get a low C mini, uh, not low C mini. I was looking at the battery thing on the camera. Um, get a low C 8T or one of the Mugen truggies or one of the Offner truggies. Or I don't know if Team Associated makes an electric truggy, but if, if that's what you want, if you want an electric truggy, that's good. But if you if you want a, uh, a nitro truggy, definitely Mugen or Losi, hands down. All right. That's my opinion. Not saying any other ones suck or anything, so don't be getting mad at me for not mentioning Take other brands. Take our opinion with a grain of salt, guys. Yes, it's just our opinion. It's just one one person's opinion. So, okay. You and I are one person. Well, that was my opinion. You didn't have an opinion on that. Do you have an opinion on that? Would you buy the truck truck you flux? Not a chance. Okay, okay. So there's my opinion. There's two people's opinions. Okay. <laughs> so the next one is um, close yet far. CYF. Mm -hmm. It sounds like Jamara was a tomboy when she was little. That's awesome. Yes. I have a brother that is a year and a half older than me. And so and then a sister that is God, what is she, six years older than me? And um, so I pretty much grew up just glued to my brother's hip. And we did everything. I mean, and it was always outside. I wasn't one of these children like a lot of kids these days that stay inside and, you know, play games and watch TV. Like, I was outside, climbing trees, riding bikes. Favorite game ever was to take rotten apples and play baseball with it. And we'd make applesauce. I did that with tomatoes. Well, we had an apple tree. So, yeah, you know, and, and I grew up with football. I've watched the Seahawks. Seahawks? The Seahawks. I've watched the Seahawks since... I can remember. My parents um, are both, well, my mom is still a crazy Seahawks fan, so I'm still, I just love football, love more guy we stuff than girl stuff. We both are football freaking fanatics. Yes. Period. Which works, you know, because you do that yes. woman's like, it's, you know, you're spending four hours in front of TV on and your And I'm Sunday lucky because stuff. all the women in her family are football fanatics, all the women in my family are football fanatics, yeah. all the men in my family are football fanatics, all the men in your family aren't football fanatics, are they? It's just my brother. He yeah. likes football, but I mean, yeah. He, I don't think my brother can sit still for four hours. To no, watch a football I don't think game. he can either. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, so it's it it works easy with us because we have a lot of the same likes. And you're right. She was a tomboy, so I was a tomboy. Kudos to you. Yes. <laughs> All right. So Craig Schofield, sixty four, says hello, Jamara. I wanted to ask Jeremy a question on his Baja kit, but I could not find the video again. Anyhow. Anyhow. How long did it take him to put it together, and how hard was it? Do you want me to keep reading, or do you want to answer that part? Just read it. I just bought one and waiting for it to get here from China. Also, what are both of you... Okay, hold on, i got to figure out what he's trying to say. What do both of you think is the best radio or transmitter for RC cars? Okay. There you go. So the first one, uh, what was the first question? <laughs> My Baja, how long it took? Mm-hmm. Okay, my Baja, I was in uh, college at the time, and I'll be returning to college in the fall. Um, but when I was in college previously, uh, that's when I was building my Baja, and I would come home, have a crap load of homework, spend a couple hours a night. So it took me about, I think, a week or something like that. I took my time with it because it was my first kit, and I honestly didn't want the build to end because when you're building something that big, it's fun. When you're working with like the 10 skills and stuff, I don't find kits to be that fun. If you're working with 10 and 8 skills, I just that's just pain in the butt. I just rather get an RTR and then just upgrade. But, uh, so yeah, that's about how long it took me to build the Baja 5 BSS. And how hard was it? It was a blast. It wasn't very hard. It wasn't hard at all. There was one, uh, the hardest part was 
there was this little rubber grommet like thing that you had to get around uh, where the exhaust pipe sat. That was the hardest part and that was the most frustrating part. But then, other than that, it went together smoothly and like I said it was my first build so I guarantee you will have no problems. The manuals are laid out great. Each bag is labeled. It's it's a blast to build. I definitely, definitely you'll have fun. Guarantee it. Good. All right. And what was the next question? Um, best radio or transmitter? Yes. And what do you think is the best radio transmitter for RC cars? I would go with depends on how much you want to spend. If you want to spend in the two hundred fifty dollar range, and that's where I would say you should start, especially if you're you have a Baja. Uh, so I, you could probably afford two hundred fifty dollar, two hundred dollar. Uh, transmitter. So mm -hmm. what I would go with is the uh, new Futaba 4 PLS coming out mm -hmm. or the Airtronics MT4. Yep. Yep. Okay. I, I knew that answer. Yes, you did. Yes, I did. Because we're right. looking for those right now. Yes, we are. All right. All right. G Man 69455. <laughs> really? 69's good. Okay. Like it. <laughs> really good reviews. Of the two cars. However, I was wondering. We don't. I don't know what two cars. He was talking about the brush D Revo and the brush Summit. Oh, so. Okay. However, I was wondering if you would recommend the E Revo. I am looking at getting one because I have the Mini Revo VXL and I like the platform, but the Summit is so expensive. Okay. So if you get a brushed, if you're talking about a brush D Revo, no. They're not fast. It's you're not gonna have the fun like you are with your uh, with the VXL. I mean, I don't. It was a great I, starter car for me. Yeah, I don't like the E-Revo VXL, the mini one. I, I it's just not my thing. Some people love them, some people don't. I personally hate them, but it's a lot faster and then a brushed E-Revo is gonna be. Now, if you're talking about a brushless E-Revo over a Summit, well, I don't know. I, I would still I would I would still go with the summit. If you could if you could, you know, save up the money and go with the summit, I'd go with the summit because the summit the bre the brushy revo you can do jumps and you can go fast with and stuff like that. The summit you can go anywhere with. Mm -hmm. Anywhere. You can take it on trails, you can take it in mud deep mud, um, you can do you can call it rock crawling, but not so much, but you know, there's people in like the G six, uh Recon G six, I think it's what it's called that actually use tracks at summits. I've seen people on DJ Medics videos where they're out trailing and they're using summits. So for me, fun factor, summit hands yeah. down. But if you just want flat out speed and you just want to just purely just bash and that's it, then go with the brushless Evo, e Revo. Perfect. But a brushed e Revo is not much fun. I, it, it just isn't because the batteries don't last long and stuff like that and you have to spend money to get batteries, lipos and so that that's just my answer. I would go I would go with the summit if if yeah, I would go with some. So, okay. There you go. All right. Landon Brown says, why do you have a gun in your pants at your house? Because it's my second amendment right. I love guns. I own about 16 of them. Mm -hmm. I have the evil AR-15. I have AK-47s. I have SKSs. I have M44s. I have M38s. I have shotguns. I have 3030s. I have... 308s, I have 12 gate, oh, I have 12 gate shotguns, 20 gate shotguns, 410 shotgun. Um, I got a lot of guns. I should probably shouldn't be announcing this, but you know, well. well what I, gun do we have next to the bed? Uh, that's my Mossberg 500 Persuader. And I also have my Air 15 loaded in the room, and I have the AK 47 loaded in my room, and I have my Smith and Wesson M&P 9 millimeter full size loaded in the room, and I have my uh, Smith and Wesson Shield. The Crimson Trace later laser loaded in the room. So if anybody breaks into my house, if the dogs don't get them first, I'll be the next in line. So, mm -hmm. and frankly, it's my Second Amendment. And if I want to show, well, Tom, we just have we have a uh, and and sorry, and, and I always always have. And why do I have it in my in my pants when I am? Tell them about Pete's story. What? And Pete in the garbage. Pete. I mean. Oh yeah. Okay. 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 But anyway, I uh, I have my 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 gun on me. At all times, I don't have it on me right now, but I usually do if it's in arm's length. If I am sitting down or in the house, at all times usually. Not when I'm making a video usually, but and like if I'm in my room, it's right next to me on my computer and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So, and here's a good example of why you should have it on you. Even though he's in the front yard, you know everybody's like. No, hey. Pete wasn't at his house. Oh. He was at the, he was at the tattoo studio. I thought he was taking out the garbage. He was taking out the, ta the oh. garbage. He was, my friend okay. was taking out the garbage at, a, at the mm -hmm. tattoo studio that I go to. Mm -hmm. And it's in a good part of the uh, Spokane okay. area, and so is my house. So, But anyway, he was taking out the garbage, and a guy came up to him and uh, pretty much told him to give him everything he had. And Pete kind of looked at him like, are you fucking kidding me? 
and I can't remember what Pete said to him. It was something really. It was something really smart ass. <laughs> yes. And then I think I think Pete pulled the gun on him. Said I, make my day or something like that. And he said back. something along those corny lines. Yep. And then he took a step back and he started to draw his pistol and the guy took off running. So that's why I carry a gun. You just never. I mean, the fact is, you just never know. Bad guys, you know, people on drugs, people, you know, not in the right state of mind. They don't care where you are. They just see a person and if they need, you know, that hire, they need to get whatever. Mm -hmm. They do what they have to do in order to get it. And so it's just like, okay, so maybe some people think that it's stupid and you're in the front yard or whatever, but. Okay, criminals don't really care where you are, or bad people don't really care where you are. Right. And, you know, he always carries his weapon. Putting on my properly. gun is like putting on my shirt and my pants and my boots every day. It's just part of how and, I dress. And I actually, honestly, from a woman's standpoint, you know, and with all the surgeries I've had, you know, before, prior to my surgeries, I could run away or defend myself to a certain extent. And to now, I... I don't know, I can scream really loud, but having him, and with his muscles, I already feel safe, but him with his mindset and knowledge of how to use a weapon, you know, and just the way that he is naturally, I feel even more safe when he has his weapon because I know, you know, I don't feel like, oh, I'm going to get shot by accident. You know, he's very gun safety. That is huge with him. You don't play around with a weapon. There's no joking or anything like that. He's very serious when it comes to his weapon. And and I honestly, I feel safer when he has it because let's say, it, let's admit it. The world is getting crazy. People are going nuts and you just never know. Okay, so that's enough about the gun stuff. That's why I so carry my go. gun and I'm that's always going to carry my gun. So if yep. people don't like my gun, then piss off. And personally, you know, it. <laughs> It's more, do I have an issue with it? I don't have an issue with it. I know he's very safe, so, you know, and everybody around him always feels safe because he's not flaunting it. We make sure that he's not showing it off when he's out in public. We make sure his shirt's always covering, so. Even my 12-year-old daughter has yeah. commented she feels safer mm -hmm. when I have my gun. Even my mom comments when she feels, uh, she feels safer, like, if we go, if I go to the mall with her or something like that, mm -hmm. that. Uh, she feels safe when I have my gun, and uh, I do take my guns into uh, movie theaters with me, and I do take it into the mall with me. I take it everywhere that I'm allowed to take it. We can't take it to the shot game, but that's yeah, we enough. can't take it to the football games. But I mean, I believe I should be because I believe my rights are being infringed on if I can't. So anyway, go ahead. There we go. The last one says from D Weenie about the summit. D Weenie. D Weenie. I love your name, D Weenie. Nice. All right. Um, <laughs> summit saves Christmas video says. Wow, way too, way too funny. What did you have to drink or smoke to come up with this video? Nothing, we're just naturally freaking weird. So there's your answer. It just, it's, <laughs> it just, that's the it, way our brains it was, work. It was, it was her idea and then we started writing the script and stuff and we just thought it would be funny. And I came up with a base idea and then we work really well bouncing ideas off of each other and, and stuff and being creative even mm -hmm. more together than we are separate. We just like that fun. I mean, yeah. everybody makes constantly RC, like serious RC videos and stuff like that. Yep. And that's just not me and I'm not going to just do serious RC videos. I'm never going to, you're never going to see me sitting in a freaking studio or something like Which that. Which works for some you're people. You're always going to see me sitting on a couch and stuff like that. I'm just an average everyday guy. Yeah. I mean, you know. He's 33, I'm 26, but we constantly say like we're, we're 12 year olds. Yeah. yeah. I'm, yeah. Get the maturity. We we can be mature if we need to, but we also we just love to have fun. We love just to enjoy life and and not take everything so stinking serious. We're complete geeky nerds. Trust me, you yes. guys. If you guys saw us off camera, I mean, it's just crazy. I mean, we should. I don't know. If our life was filmed constantly. <laughs> People would laugh and then people would question. You'd see me falling over things all the time. I'm constantly falling off. And people stuff. would question our insanity. So I think yeah. that about uh, wraps, it, <laughs> wraps it up. We shouldn't have said that about our yeah. sanity. I, mean, I do carry a gun. That's <laughs> true. I know. We just talked about guns and now we're saying we're not, you know, chemically balanced. <laughs> but we are chemically balanced. We just like to have fun. I mean, if you're not laughing every day, what the hell is the point of life? You know? You got to have fun in life. I mean, you only got one life. So have fun. Laugh yeah. it up. Be stupid, do crazy crap, yep. and just just, and enjoy, just enjoy life. You only get one freaking shot at it. And with all the health scares I've had lately and stuff like that, and uh, her health scares, you know, it's just, it's really just you never know when something's going to totally put you out of commission. Yeah. Like my back right now has totally put me out of commission with going to the gym and stuff like that. And I was put out of commission with the gym with my diverticulitis and everything. And you just never know what's going to happen. You never know what's going to hit. So just have fun, you know, live 
every day. You never day. know if a tornado is going to hit, you know? Yeah. So just enjoy life. Exactly. Just, That's a prime example. Yep. Yeah. You, just didn't you never know when your last day is going to be. Mm -hmm. So live every day like your last day. And that's, I mean, a it's fun very to, corny saying, but it's true. It's fun to find somebody that, you know, believes the same way you do. And, and so it makes you even more, you know, yourself, if that sounds weird. Right. You know, I can be, you know, geeky, this nerdy, Jamer. You can beer. be geek. You need a beer. I need a beer. It's beer time. Sorry, we got to go. <laughs> Sorry, guys. But anyway, yeah. Sorry to cut you off, babe. Go ahead and finish what you're saying. No, it's good. It's just, it's nice to find somebody else that, you know, doesn't have to be so, you know, serious. I've dated guys that are just, like, so serious. You're just, like, weren't, weren't boring. Yeah. You know, and I just, it's a cool guy. It's a cool guy. Yeah. And by the way, guys, join the freaking RC Militia Facebook group page. And look at the channel. And we have, do have a contest going on. So look, make sure you look at that. I'm not going to post it. Or say anything about that, just you can look at it in the previous video that we made, or you can go to the RC Militia Facebook group page, not just the RC Militia Facebook page, there's two different pages, and uh, ask to join, and I will approve you, and we got like 300, close to 300 members right now. So. Yep, something like that. So yeah, so that about wraps it up, guys. Alright guys, so with that, Jeremy and Jamera from RC Militia <laughs> saying, peace, take care, God bless, have fun, and like I always say, I always say be safe, but uh... That's just not me, unless I have my gun. All right, guys. Peace.